Cool. The best of stand-up from the comedy store in an hour's time. Now on five, somebody's not playing by the rules. First, there were ten. Five men and five women. Now there are nine. Jules was the first to be eliminated by computer questionnaire. She had achieved so much, but her departure proved that popularity is no guarantee of success. Not in the moles game. The remaining nine have £10,000 between them and three challenges that lie ahead before another person must leave. Only one person can escape elimination. Only one place is guaranteed. That person is the mole. days in and the curse of the mole has struck. Gloria has already raised suspicions in the first challenge with her reluctance to parachute jump and by not packing Zai any underwear. Now she's left a message saying she's ill and not turned up for breakfast. Morning guys. Morning. 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 Have you recovered from the excitement of yesterday? <laughs> well, now we are nine. Jules has left us and the bad news for you is I've spoken to Gloria and she won't be joining us. She says she feels unwell. But the good news, we have a challenge for you. Now, I need you to nominate the group's best golfer. You have 15 seconds. Time's up, guys. Who do you choose? Oliver. Yeah. You've been nominated as the group's resident, Tiger Woods. Right. <laughs> now I need you to do me another favour. Could you please now nominate the group's worst golfer, someone who's never played before? Who's not played? Joanna. Not played. Not played. Not played. Sarah hasn't played before. She's a Zara. No. Can I have a decision? Zara. 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 Thank you. We have a challenge for the pair of you. If you'd like to make your way outside, you'll find a car waiting for you. We'll see you later. Good luck. Now the rest of you don't get off that easy. We have a challenge for you too. I need you six to divide yourself into three teams. Two artists, two animal lovers, and two extroverts. Fifteen seconds. The extroverts is easy. We've got to be here to start with an <laughs> extrovert. Done. Extrovert. <laughs> <laughs> Can you draw? Not to save my life. Yeah, but I think you'll be good. Oh, you'll be perfect. You're right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Extroverts yeah, artists that leaves us as yeah. animal lovers. Okay, guys, can I have a decision? Fruit. Yeah. 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 Who are our two artists? Joe, Joe like and Jennifer. Jennifer. Jennifer and Joe, great. Who are our two animal lovers? John and David. Furry ones. So, our two extroverts. <laughs> <laughs> Zai and Paul. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> okay, listen carefully. Outside the door, you will find three cars. In each car, there is a mission CD. Listen to it carefully and obey the instructions. I'll meet you on the beach at Semper Lades. Ladies and gentlemen, go to your cars. They don't realise, but they're hearing the Mole theme tune for the very first time. I hope you are now on your way to the beach at St. Brelades. Today's challenge is very simple. Your three groups must raise between them £150 for a good cause. Montalabe School for Special Needs, a children's charity on Jersey. If you do, you will also raise £5,000 for the group's kitty. You will have three hours to complete the challenge. In the boot of this car, you will find everything we suggest you need to complete your part of the challenge. Do not open the boot from the outside until you get to your destination. 
do not stop the car. You must not communicate with the other teams whilst completing this challenge. Once again, good luck. I hope you have some good news for the children in just under three hours' time. Nice one, all right? Morning. Out you get, everyone. Come on. Okay. You've all listened to your CDs, right? Yeah. So you all know your challenges? Yeah. Are you all set? Yes. Any okay. questions? Right. Time starts now. Each team is about to discover what their beach challenge is. Put on a Punch and Judy show. We said that. Say. <laughs> the mission today is to raise money on a beach as characterists. Oh, dear. This is going to be funny. Oh, no. Jesus. How are you with GPS? GPS satellite. Your mission today is to raise money by um, offering donkey rides to holidaymakers. <laughs> you will find the donkeys by using the GPS. They're not yet on the beach. You have to find them. Well, what, what do you reckon? Why don't we have a little practice now and see if we can figure out how to do caricatures? And when we're feeling confident, then present ourselves to the public, rather than no, just no, seeing no. an amateur attempt. No. You feel quite confident? Yeah. Well, I don't. And how do we use this? Well, you start figuring that okay. out. OK. That was a good start. You can find the on button. Got any instructions for a GPS system? There's one further problem for the group. Being a British beach, it's starting to rain. Go to Mall. Zero, zero, one, two, three, four. Zyde, the frame's going to take a bit of putting up, mate. Right, that's, that's fine. Where do you want to sight it? Facing the sun. <laughs> what sun? Booth should face the sun and be securely guy rubbed down. So if this changes direction, Oh, yeah, it's raining, yeah, which it's is brilliant. nicely. <laughs> it's stuttered. Bonjour, <laughs> madame. Come on, let's go and sell some paintings. Look. The donkeys will be in shoes. Look, here you go. Look, this. It's in Bri is it Brian? Just a little kiss. Kissy, 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 kissy. Oh, you little darling. It's turned into Damien or Everett. <laughs> <laughs> we could do that. <laughs> Excuse me. This is our question. Yeah. You haven't seen any donkeys on the travels, have you? Uh, I just wait, wait. Still pretty oh. rainy, and I'm not happy. Hang on a minute. Well, there's oh, another man, really. ramp down over there. Oh, we've there. only got... Make cares, young lad. <laughs> 50 quid was going to be easy, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Make these buggers run, shall we? The pub. Pop up there. Okay. Yeah, people get a few, few drinks. They spend yeah. a bit more cash, don't they? Donkey rides in about half an hour. Money for charity. Well, it should have been a relatively easy challenge has become wet. The target is a total of £150, or £50 per group. Four feet away. Again, 300 feet away, 290 <laughs> After 30 minutes, the three teams have raised between them absolutely nothing. Hello. Friendly. Front of top section floor, right? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Please, will you help us? Please. No, 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 no. Look, there's bolts. You unscrew the bolt and screw it back on again. Caricatures. Just think, you can take them home and you know. Can you remember what the charity was? The Saint, uh, children's. Do you, have you got the piece of paper on you? Is it in the car? Yeah, it's in the car. Okay. David, where do you think we should actually be doing this? Right in front of where everybody was. Right down on there. Yeah, you. we'll just walk up and down, because nobody's going to come looking for us, aren't yeah. they? If you don't mind being patient, I haven't ever done this before. This is a real challenge for me. We're doing charity, donkey rides. Oh, and right. we need children. Unfortunately, you have to pay for them. All the money's going to charity, and obviously it is chucking it down with rain. But we could wrap your children up in <laughs> my waterproof jacket if any of them would like a donkey ride. Go OK, on, you'd like to have a go? go. Yeah? You're going to get cool. me, yeah. Three, three, three. Well done. Better make the most, mate. We have to move. We've got a poor coach load of people coming here. Brilliant, brilliant. Joe's finished her first masterpiece. So it doesn't really look like the eyes don't look like her. Oh, he's having a wee. <laughs> hello, children. Or should that be child? Oh, hello. there's someone said hello. Hello, what's your name? Rachel. Hello, Rachel. Anyone?
Zai and Paul are obviously banking on Rachel having extremely rich parents. Right, there we go. What do you think of that? First ever attempt? Well, I don't know if I'll ever get a few million. I don't think it'll be as worth as much as the sunflowers. We'll see how much After money we got. One hour and ten. When ten minutes, we have got ten. 20, 25, 27, so we've got to keep going. So yeah. go. On the beach, they're making good progress. We'll really slow this down. You guys have to whack it. Shut up! Shut up! Baby! Look, it's it. Ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> She's fantastic. She'd call it man with beer. <laughs> Oh, that's very kind of you, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. For Joe, it's the moment of truth. You think there is a light in there? No, a little bit of a hang dog look. I usually smile a lot, you see. You were smiling at the beginning. Are you dropping money? Let's not be losing that. Mole in action, dropping his money. Remarkably, Joe has sold the portrait. Bye bye! See you soon! Bye! Bye! bye. 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 <laughs> well, guys, have you enjoyed your day in the sun? <laughs> a tough challenge at the best of times, but on a day like today, almost impossible. But nevertheless, it's time to see how you've done, okay? Artists, how did you get on? Well, we've made 55. 55? Yes. Wow. That's fantastic. Good. Put it all in there. Yes, no, a round of applause. I think that's very impressive. Artistic very skills. Okay, 55. Donkey boys. How did you get on? 70 pounds <laughs> and 58 uh, pence. 70 pounds and 58 pence. Wow, that is, that is incredible. Don't forget the 58. Wow, that is amazing. So that's what, 125.58. So you need what, 24 pounds and uh, 48 we, pence. We didn't quite do that. We, didn't, we got 90 pounds and 93 pence. Excellent. 90 oh. pounds. Oh. <laughs> that is amazing. Wow, that's amazing. That's what, 216 pounds and 51 pence. That is amazing. You've smashed your total. <laughs> On behalf of the kids, thank you very much. No, thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. You've done so well. We'll double that total. So that's what? 433 pounds and two pence for the kids. That is brilliant. Hey, and let's not forget, that's 5,000 pounds for your kitty. And on a day like today, that is miraculous. You should be very proud of yourself. Right. On to the next one. Let's go. For the moment, the mood is good. But there's agony and frustration just around the corner. He goes, oh, um, are you trying to pick a fight? <laughs> Man, you know what I mean? Pick a fight with him, please. With Gloria mysteriously missing, six of the contestants have spent the morning successfully completing the beach challenge. Meantime, Oliver has been set a different task. He has three hours to teach Sarah golf. And she says she's never played before in her life. However, they're not the first visitors to the golf course. A sinister warning note has appeared. <laughs> that's really weird that that's in this hole here, isn't it? <laughs> How bizarre. Yeah. Another note turned up by the beach, but not one of the other contestants noticed it. After three hours of hard instruction on the course and a spot of lunch together in the clubhouse, Ollie and Sarah take time to practice on the putting green until the others arrive. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Royal Jersey Golf Club. The weather's uh, holding off just for a moment. <laughs> now, the good news is you're about to play a game that's worth £5,000 if you're successful. It's time to find out what Ollie and Sarah have been up to all day. Ollie's been showing Sarah the nuances of the royal and ancient game of golf. 
Sarah's about to attempt to play the 18th hole here. It's par four. Now, Perfect. Sarah's never played golf before. So we're going to give her those four shots for free. But after that, the amount of shots she gets, surprise, surprise, is up to you. They're going to nominate each of you in turn to answer a question. If you get that question right, Sarah gets an extra two shots. You get it wrong, and she gets nothing. It's also slightly difficult because, well, Gloria isn't here, so it's got a little harder for you. So you only get six more questions. A maximum of 12 extra shots. Sarah must hold the ball for you to win the 5,000 pounds. Is that clear? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's play golf. Come bit, come Sarah up. is playing the 18th hole. The contestants are in the tower behind her. They can watch Sarah's efforts over their shoulders or alternatively close up on a television. Yeah. Absolutely. Perfect. Perfect. Should we go for it? Yeah. There we go. Shot one. Okay. Nice and slow. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Rowing. Perfect. Absolutely. Perfect. Perfect. That looked pretty good. Yeah. She hit that a long way, actually. Yeah, long. <laughs> I want to take two more shots to get onto the green, okay? We're not trying to get onto the green with this shot. If we get on rowing. But if not, no worries, okay? <laughs> Nightmare. Is that just practice shot, that one? No, no, no. no, no, no. That's the first shot. Well, why does it come back down there, then? No, no, no. She went up there to have a look at where she was going to play the sh next shot. You play much golf, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just stay down in the bowl. She's do. in a putter. Well done, Ollie. Good. Do you feel confident? Yes. Yeah. 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 That's a pretty smart way to play. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> so she can get to the green in about three or four now. <laughs> can I any questions? A few questions? Yeah. Don't need to belt it, we're just going to take it up a few yards, OK? Here we go, <laughs> shot three, shot three. Oh, straight away. Oh, where's that going? I think he's going, he's going around, he's centre that way. Great. That's where we want to be. Okay. Yeah, look at us strolling up there, it looks like the last, the 18th of the Open. <laughs> She's going to be waving to the crowd yeah, at any minute. Sure. you all right? Yeah. <laughs> How many shots do we have now? This is our money shot. So this is the last one of your free shots. Yeah. After this, right. you have yeah. to earn them, OK? Look at that picture of concentration. <laughs> Get up. There it goes. Brilliant. Oh. Yes. Oh. 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 My goodness. Oh. What's that? Oh. Well, that is what they call stone dead, I think. <laughs> Excellent. Well, well, that is That's excellent news. Good. Now, of Pretty course, late. however, we must get some questions right. Uh, no more shots, and I'm afraid, mm -hmm. as well as Sarah's done, you'll win nothing. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, looking good? Looking very good. good. Well, well, done, done, well, done. well done. Well done. Ah, you just that. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> You've done terrifically well, but now it's time for the questions. Your first category is Jersey. Who would you like to answer a question on Jersey? John. John. <laughs> John, you're the Jersey expert, it would seem. Okay, you have 15 seconds to answer each question, okay? Your question on Jersey is, who founded Jersey Zoo? No idea. You have 10 more seconds. Five. Up, I need an answer, John. Saint Relay. No. That's a good guess, but I'm afraid the answer is uh, Gerald Durrell. No luck, I'm afraid. Never mind, John. Never mind. That's okay, John. Okay, we'll move on to the next one. The next category is history. We'd like Paul. <laughs> Paul. The question on history is: Who designed the bouncing bomb? used by the Dam Busters in World War II. Uh, Barnes Wallace. That's correct. <laughs> Sorry, you have two more shots. Go for it. Wow. Weather's turning again. <laughs> We're back in, our, back in our customary huddle. <laughs> well, that could make a difference, actually. The weather turning like this. The wind's getting up. How my position was? A little bit left. Here she goes, here she goes. A bit more? Tell you a bit more. There it goes, there it goes. She's not jumping up and down. 
Okay, not too pleased about that. That's not bad, bad. Nice and nice. This is nice and there we go. Remember, if she holds this, you win five thousand pounds. Oh! Back to the drawing board then. Okay. Your next category: sport. Who would you like? David. David. Sport. Why have you gone for David as your sporting expert? <laughs> no idea. No. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, they're confident. Yeah. David, your question on sport is Who won the 2000 UEFA Cup final? You have 15 seconds. Ten seconds. Holland. No, I'm afraid not. It's a club competition. The answer is Galatasaray. Jesus. Sorry, chaps. Sorry. Oh, sorry, Dave. Tough one. Tough one. Well, Sarah, Ollie, the next category is film and television. Who would you like? Zai me. Okay, Zai. Okay. Zai, your question is name all seven dwarfs. 15 seconds. Dopey, happy, sleepy, doc, grumpy. Ten seconds, you've got sneezy. two more. Correct, one more. Five seconds. Two, one. Oh. Just one more zone. Oh, bashful. Bashful is now that he missed. He was never going to get bashful, though. <laughs> <laughs> That was such hard work. <laughs> well, two questions left. Your next category, science. Who'd you like, guys? Go on, Joe. Joe, your question is, what does NASA stand for? You have 15 seconds. Ten National seconds. Aerospace. Five seconds. Animation. Animation. No, I'm sorry. It's National Aeronautics and Space Administration. That was a tough one. Well, we've come down to the wire. <laughs> Final category is music and Jenny. Your question on music is, who were George Michael and Andrew Ridgely's backing singers in Wham? You have 15 seconds. Oh, what was it? Ten seconds. Salt and pepper. No, 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 it wasn't. No. Um. <laughs> um. Oh my God. I don't know. Time's up. I'm afraid. Oh. <laughs> 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 Shirley sure is what you were looking salt for. Salt and pepper. Grasping <laughs> salt and pepper. That was so close, but I'm afraid, guys. <laughs> sorry, guys. That's it's it. Okay. Oh. Sorry, sorry. You were nothing. Sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, you came so close. Very well played, but uh, just let you down up here on the balcony. Never mind. You've done very well. It's been a good day, except for the weather. <laughs> but you're now free. Do what you wish for the rest of the day. Spend it wisely. Enjoy yourselves. I'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you. Would you know, would you know the Ollie, you're still there, mate? Yeah. yeah, can you hear us? Yeah. yeah. Hear Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Let's have a bit of appreciation for Zara's T-shirt. Yeah, well, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Oh. Ah, never mind. Gutted. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. <laughs> Should we just walk off into the sea? <laughs> it seems the golf challenge raised more questions than answers. John had said he's got friends on Jersey and has visited on many occasions, yet he didn't seem to know much about one of the island's major tourist attractions. No idea. Zai had the reputation for being a sports fanatic, yet Sarah and Ollie picked David who failed miserably. And what about that fourth shot? Having shown great skill to get so close to the flag, Zara suddenly blasted the ball far beyond the hole, making the challenge much more difficult. Oh, hello again. Today, oh, what do we do? Um, Zara and I had to, had to do a Punch and Judy show. I so enjoyed doing that. 
I will never, ever take the piss out of a Punch and Judy man again. We've had, a, we've had a, a fantastic day again. It was difficult, I think, because me particularly had never drawn before in my life. And suddenly being asked to draw in caricatures, which I don't think I was too successful at. I worked with John with the donkeys, which went superbly. But there was a couple of times when I couldn't work out why he walked off a long way to um, just fetch bizarre things from the car, um, which made him um, sort of quite high on my suspect list. What an amazing day. Made me think, was that the first time she'd ever played golf in her life? I think everyone was gobsmacked how good she was. I was really actually quite surprised um, by my ability to play golf and I really, really enjoyed it. Having said that, her putting was pretty crap. But Ollie and I did find the first clue from the mall today, um, which was uh, quite funny, a lot of ransom notes stuck on the wall, um, which although Ollie didn't tell the group about, but I, ha I have informed the group. Sarah was meant to be a, uh, a complete novice. But she, I mean, she looked pretty good. She had some good form on a golfing swing, by the way. I don't mean anything else. I really thought I could do it. I really thought we could win the money for the group. Um, and I felt very confident of that. Um, but alas... I'm very, very disappointed. Um, because we were one person short, due to Gloria being ill. Maybe she was ill or whatever. Um, but certainly, this, this, paranoia is getting to people a little bit. And um, as a group, we didn't do very well at answering the questions. Unfortunately, we only got one question right. Um, now, I don't know if the uh, mole actually gave in anyone a wrong answer, even though I knew everyone else's answers. Unfortunately, I missed out bashful for one of my seven dwarfs. When it came to the backing group of Wham, then uh, goodness knows what they were called. Salt and pepper? No. <laughs> I was pleased I answered mine. Uh, so that was good. I was being a bit selfish, but I'll answer my question. Each contestant will have to work out for themselves which, if any, were acts of sabotage. Losing the golf game has caused friction and fueled the group's paranoia. Let's hope I don't botch up tomorrow. Morning, guys. How are you feeling? Morning. Morning. Beautiful day, yeah? Yeah. Now, the uh, bad news is today, Frey Gloria still says she's not well enough to join us. But the good news, we have a challenge for you. And it's worth £10,000 if you succeed. It's beautiful scenery here, don't you think? Let's see how you like it when it's rushing past at high speed. Because we're taking you on a car rally. Now, <laughs> first, come, come. I need you to split into three teams, two of three and one of two. In each team, one person will do the navigating in the car. The other two will work in the pits, changing the wheels. So think carefully about your personnel. Also, because of Gloria's absence, one person will have to participate twice to help the team of two. So who that person is is possibly the most important decision you have to make. You have one minute to decide, starting now. Who's going to be the one person that jumps between the two now? Well, I'm, I'm happy to do that. Oh, OK. okay. Yeah. Well, it seems like it's always hostage during the day. In the yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. 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 Cool. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you good at navigating, you girls? You know your way around? Read a map? Yeah. Coordinates? Yeah. You... Time's up, guys. I need your decision. Who's in Team A? Us three. John, Jenny, Zai. And who's in... Team B. Yep. Paul, David, Sarah. That leaves Team C. Zai, Ollie and Joe. Terrific. Your teams are clear? Yeah. You're clear of your challenge? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Right, guys. I think it's time you met your cars. Right, 
it's time for the navigators to choose their cars. Ollie, since you're in the group of two, the which one do you want? The shiny blue one. The TVR? Yeah. It's yours, my friend. <laughs> Paul? The Caterham. The Caterham 7? Yeah. The nice yellow one in the middle. So, John, that leaves you with the Lotus Elite. Okay. Yeah? Good. Not such a bad choice after nope, all, huh? No, nope, not at all. Right, guys, these are the rules. Each one of these cars must complete a circuit of the course, guided by their navigator. Halfway around, there is a pit stop. There, the wheel changers must swap the rear wheels around. You must beat a target time that we will set to win the £10,000. Now, to give you a little taster of the course, navigators, we've got a special treat for you. We're going to give you a trip around so you can get a sense of what's going on in this lovely Mini Cooper. You five, you need a bit of practice too, so uh, go get those jacks. Society, the self society. That was quite fast. Oh, yeah. You're doing good. <laughs> To win the challenge, the navigators must stick to the correct route, the wheel changers must not ask for help from anyone, and all three circuits must be completed in a total of less than 20 minutes. Three, two, one. After only 90 seconds, Paul's into the pits, where Sarah and David are waiting. Go for guys, come on. Come on. That's top fun, I didn't know much about that. Yeah. 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 All right. Can you hear me clear of your business? Why wouldn't it go? Why won't it go? Save time, sir. Okay. David's clear after two minutes, and Sarah's not far behind. It's a great pit stop, taking two minutes and 43 seconds. Overall, they're well ahead of schedule and on target for the £10,000 prize money.
Zai and Joe are waiting at the pit stop. But is Zai ready? Zai's got his wheel off, but Joe is struggling. You're all right, you're all right. Oh, shit! It's all right, time. Come on, that's easy. Come on, you're all right, you're all right, you're all right. That's it. Slowly, mind your back. That's it. Despite all her efforts, Joe's wheel is far from on. That's it, nice. Put it in straight. Now, turn it clockwise. Do all the times. Yeah, I've done that first. Yeah, it's all right, don't worry. Yeah. And then use the tall one. Yeah, I need to keep going. Take it, it's all right. Go on, just keep going. Keep going. And then you can use the tall one now. Just pick the tall one. Come on, get it sorted, man. Tilt the noise. Tall one. That's it. Now, tall one. Which way? Which way? That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clockwise. Tilt the noise. Right. Shit. Three. Come on, Joe! Don't forget to stand! Don't forget to stand! Move your toes! No, 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 no! Stand back, stand back! You ready? One, two, three! Let's go! It weighs an absolute ton. You did well. You did well. I didn't. You did no, well. no, no, no. I should have had you if we'd known. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. We all have to work in the team. So it was the heaviest. Right? Heavy. Exactly, so exactly. We all know that. We all know that. You did well. Thanks to Joe's slow wheel change, Ollie's lap took more than twice as long as the first. There's less than five minutes remaining. The pressure's really on John. At least this time, Zai's already done one wheel change. Well done. Are you alright, Zai? Go on, go on, go on. Not alright. Zai, you need this one down. Right. Okay, I'll stop. Wait, wait, wait. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Instructions alright? Instructions alright? Okay. Is it looking high enough for a stand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right off. Beautiful. Well, you've got plenty of time, Pick up your clicking tool. Pick up your clicking tool. Say, Jen, nice and easy. Jennifer's finding it hard. This is off. I can't get it. That's it. Got Yeah. Come on, Jen, that's it. Come on. That's it. Okay, well done. You ready? Yep. Come on. Any time, nice and easy. And now Zai's suddenly struggling with his wrench. Not speech. Thank you. Oh. 
Stay on Stand your side. Step back. John knows time is against them. He has to get back in course record time. Can I just say something? No, Can I just say something? If we lose this because of how long it took on the tie, I'm so, so sorry, OK? Sorry, no, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. No. Thank you. <laughs> Good one. Good one. Hi, right, guys, I've got the times here. Poor. Your team, you were first, you came in five minutes and four seconds. And then, uh, second team, Ollie, ten minutes and 47 seconds, leaving you just around four minutes to complete the task. John, your team came in in seven minutes and 17 seconds. Three minutes and eight seconds, although you haven't done it. I'm sorry. Bad luck. Oh, How far over? Three minutes. No. Three. Molly, Molly, Molly. Molly, Molly, Molly. Yeah, <laughs> makes you wonder, doesn't it? <laughs> We're going to go home skinned. We're going to go home in death. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, it we'll, don't matter. Come on, guys. Come on. It's all right. I'll come exactly the same as that. Well, guys, three minutes and eight seconds. That's all that separated you from £10,000. Expensive moments indeed. But was it really a failure for the group? Or was it a success for the mole? We'd failed again. That's the third time in a row. And it, it is, it's, it's really disheartening. To begin with, we thought that the navigational er uh, area was going to be important and two of the girls couldn't tell their left from their right. Surprise, surprise. Today, I tried, but I didn't succeed. Jennifer was fantastic. She said, you know, we've all been there, we've all cocked up. Some of the others, I felt, couldn't look me in the eye. There's no doubt about it that intentionally, somebody intentionally um, did something. Joe did have a um, bit of a freak out and managed to, um, managed to stall everything for quite a while. I, I don't think she was sabotaging things, but it was a possibility. She seemed quite upset about it. To ask a girl to change a tower on a TVR is a little bit extreme. My wife, for instance, couldn't begin to change a tower. She would call the AA. John pissed me off by when he said, oh, well, so what went wrong? Well, nothing went wrong. You know, what makes him sure that something went wrong in our part couldn't be in his part? People aren't dividing into groups, but... There's definitely we sort of divisions of of people. Paul said, "Well, you know, we'll try harder next time." Oh, it's all right sitting on your ass in a car navigating and having a good time because he was dying to go in that car. His smile on his face was like, you know, from ear to ear. There's some people in the group who, are honestly, you know, personally, tolerance levels are, are running quite low. He goes, "Oh, um, are you trying to pick a fight?" Man, you know what I mean? Pick a fight with him, please. Man, I've got better things to do with my time and pick a fight with him. There is some feeling in the group today. One person potentially cocked it up for us. I, I have my suspicions about that person. I think the mole is Paul. The guy's just too good to be true. I think he's just hiding behind someone. And then there's Zai, who, who did do two cars, but on one car he took an exceptional amount of time jacking it up. Suspicions have aroused there. I still have, and I have had, strong suspicions about Paul being the mole. Now, Jennifer, maybe she's more artistic than she lets on. It just isn't really getting any easier. Uh, I, I'm absolutely drawn a blank yet again. I mean, I was completely wrong in who I thought it was. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous, but I think it's me. <laughs> well, it isn't. A lot of people are messing up and losing us the money, but either they're incredibly good actors or they're just very incompetent. A pretty muddling day vis-a-vis -vis suspicions. The Gloria episode obviously was a tricky one to analyse. It's quite strange being split today. Um, if the mole has got to go through to the end of all the challenges, they have got to be up for everything, but they have got to look to be scared. Who the mole is at this stage? Don't know. <laughs> 
Despite missing the events of the past two days, Gloria is determined she can still win the game. Well, ladies and gentlemen, another very successful two days. One of you will be going home with a great deal of money. But, now it is the elimination. Now one of you must leave us. Shall we begin? Paul. Zai. Gloria. Gloria, we have to go. Two days in bed, you see. It's left you with not enough to go on. <laughs> that was a person who was extraordinarily scared of heights and managed to jump ten and a half thousand feet out of a plane free fall. Um, and that's one of the bravest things I've seen someone do. Um, I'm, I'm very impressed with that. It's just a shame that we have to lose another person. Yeah. yeah. You know, we all know it's expected, but you know, it just don't get no easy, really. Thanks a lot. Fine. Take it easy, Gloria. Bye-bye. Next week on The Mole, the pressure increases. Probably the scariest couple of seconds in my life. Oh, my God, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> this is a maze cut into a field of maze, and its shape might seem strangely familiar. But... It only seems so from above. Inside this maze, it is very dark and very confusing. Left! Right! Oh, run! 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 Run!